Torah is here to tell us details about how we really function, about who we really are. And the Torah, the way to get to know it, is to reconcile you and it. Because they're both coming from the same Creator, and they both have the same message. One of them is hidden, and that's you. And the other one is what you can look at. You can see the words, and that's the Torah. But on the other hand, the Torah is hidden, because the Torah is very difficult to understand. But you, if you pay close attention, you can reveal your own nature to yourself, and then you can find that understanding in the Torah. Then you can see what the Torah is trying to protect. Because as long as you don't understand the purpose of life, the Torah cannot make sense by its very definition. The Torah is here to tell you that everything that we think is wrong and something else is important. So as long as we haven't realized that what we think is wrong, we can't understand the Torah. The Torah can't make sense to us. So only when we recognize that somebody, at some point in the past, knew more than us about ourselves, because we're all the same beings. If he knew more about himself, it means he knew more about us. So if we recognize that, then we go to him to find out what it means to be us. And that's the message. That's the message that survived for three and a half thousand years. And so, when, when, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed himself to the others, HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed that he is the one that runs life. What's the proof? That you can see a vision where life can be perfect. And if life can be perfect, it means it has a purpose, it means it has a creator. The call for people to think that life is random is because they see the chaos in what plays out and what people do. And they blame the chaos of what people create on the Creator. But the Creator didn't create chaos, the Creator created order. And the human minds, by misunderstanding that order, they create the chaos. And so when people saw through the chaos and they saw what could be, they believed, they understood. But that's not the Shmi Hashem, that's not the recognition of all the different details that are required to make that vision happen, to make that vision a reality. And that was Moshe Rabbeinu, that's why he's called the leader of all the Nevi'im, because his Nevi'im was the doorway, his, his Nevi'im set the tone for all the rest of the Torah. Everything that ev anybody wrote after only had authority because it was based on Torah's Moshe, it was based on the original message where Claudius Sol had a revelation of 600,000 people recognizing the same truth at the same time. And so Moshe Rabbeinu saw something and he showed something that nobody has shown before. And even though he couldn't deliver the message all the way and human nature wasn't yet ready to be that perfect being that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created, that message continues to every generation that demands of them to take a look at their own lives and try to recognize what are the principles that make their life the way that they are. So that they can improve whatever the Ovis couldn't accomplish, whatever Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't accomplish, whatever the Nevi'im couldn't accomplish. We now, after all the suffering that humanity went through, we can accomplish. We are so worn out already, our Nefashis are so tired, that we can do things that previous generations, it would have been impossible for them to do. We can recognize realities that are very distant from the way we're used to thinking, because we know that the way we're used to thinking is not pleasant, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't really work. Something is missing, something very real is missing from it. And so the revelation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is to every person all the time. But there were people who knew how to look at it and see it. And then most of us, we just look at it, but we can't see it. We can't see through all the chaos, all the events, all the desires, all the dreams and hallucinations to see what is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu actually created, because He already created the way that He created, and that's the message. The message is what He did. The revelation is simply to see that what He did is perfect, that it's supposed to be this way that when humanity will recognize how to go about life, it will work.
And the damage that we have is in the history. Our history is traumatic, our history is painful, our history is angry. And so as long as we carry our history with us, we're carrying pain, we're carrying suffering, we're carrying anger. And then we resist life, then life can't happen to us the appropriate way. We've been enslaved by ideas that we don't fully understand. And those ideas and those feelings and those thoughts that we created brought upon us all kinds of suffering, created all kinds of suffering in our lives. And this is the message of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, which is all over the Torah, is that it's up to each individual, it's up to each moment to do whatever it has in its power to make sure that we can come free from the past, that we can come free from the thoughts and ideas that are not helpful to humanity, that are not kind. And so then we can transform ourselves, then we can become something better. And that brings us closer to seeing the true revelation, to, th to seeing life from the lens of the one that created it, where we all deserve.